if Jesus can come from the place of glory down to the dusty roads of this earth and die and go to the cross. But before he dies, he stops by the cross and he has a conversation with God. And he tells God, not my will, but thy will be done. In other words, I don't really want to do this, but it's not about me. It's about you. When's the last time you said, God, it's not about me, but it's about you? How, how many of us, it's all about us. It's all about how I feel. It's all about what I want. Well, the scripture says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 3, 13, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. You see, a lot of us don't want that straight and narrow walk. We want to be able to do what we want to do, how we want to do it, and still be saved. Well, let me tell you something. That ain't going to cut it with God. In these last days in which we live, the church needs to stand up and be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. It's very difficult to say amen to the things that you have put on the shelf and no longer revere as righteous and holy. But Jeremiah the weeping prophet said in Jeremiah 6, 16, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. So many of us now have forgotten who we are and why we're here. I didn't save myself. I didn't know what salvation was until somebody told me. They had to not sing it to me. They had to not just tell me their experience. I needed something stronger than that. I needed something more than that. I needed the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall stand forever. Don't you remember the old way when you got on your knees and called on God? Don't you remember when you prayed? Don't you remember when you asked God to forgive you? Don't you remember when sin was not something you allowed to rule and reign in your life because you said, I'm not living that life anymore. But little by little, you began to get in your own way. You begin to substitute the praises of God for the pleasures of sin for a season. You begin to say it don't take all of that. It doesn't take shouting anymore. God has been good to me. I don't have to be early for church. We got a new car that can get us there smoother. But when the car was raggedy and shooting fumes across the freeway, you was on your way to church just in case you broke down. But now you done got so cool, you don't even think about breaking down so you come late so you can park and not have anybody touch your car. I want you to understand if you don't get out of your way, your car going to get wrecked. I want you to know that it's not about stuff, it's not about things, but it's about your relationship with God. Thus saith the Lord, I stand in the ways and see and ask for the old path. How many of you know that a lot of us have come to church and there was a time when you would come to this church. People say, don't go over to City of Refuge playing games. Don't go over there acting like you all of that and you ain't living right. That preacher will walk down the aisle and look you in your face. And they ask you if you're saved. And if you say you are, he'll come right back and say, are oh, you living right? Now a lot of you are glad I stopped walking. You're still glad I stopped asking. Well, I'm getting back into the pilot's chair. We've been on all the pilot for a little while, but the captain's back in his seat. Somebody say amen. I want you to know we're going to get things right around here. It's not going to just be breakthrough prayer. It's going to be prayer and fasting. The problem is folk don't want to fast no more. So bloated and filled with toxin that we can't even speak with tongues. We got a mouthful of food and garbage in our minds that we don't even know what's spiritual, what's righteous, and what's holy. People can't even regurgitate the word because too many programs from television have saturated their minds. Folks got their programs on DVR, got everything but the right thing. When the last time you picked up your word, when the last time you memorized the scripture, when the last time you said thank you Jesus, not because you wanted something but because he's been good to you. I know you're quiet in here but I'm talking about another way. You've been doing it your way and things haven't worked out. Because the Bible said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, not boss him, not tell him, not give him a wish list, but acknowledge him, and he will, he shall direct your path. Somebody say amen. 
we're going to get it right around here. You can sit down on me if you want to, but this church, you must be born again. I mean, you must call on Jesus, believe in your heart, and confess with your mouth. Some of y'all have lost your way. You forgot who saved you. You forgot the mess you were in when he found you. And then when you got saved, you were seeking the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But what happened now? So many folk done gave up the Holy Ghost. Can't speak in tongues anymore because you done shut off the spigot. But I want you to know that if you're going to be in this ministry, you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking with other tongues. It doesn't mean that you're not saved if you don't have the baptism, but you ought to be seeking the baptism. The problem is we got too many folk in leadership and in certain positions who act like they own the position. You don't own nothing. This church belongs to God. 